It's Tanya. I thought I would do something slightly different this time and do a product share. And, well, not really a review because I haven't used it yet, but I did want to show you because it is super, super cute. It's even almost, no, is it? I think it's almost as cute as my Instax printer. Almost. It is the Winsor & Newton Cockman Watercolours Field Box with 12 half pans. So this is the box it comes in. Very dinky and cute. Okay, what does it say on the back? It says, Cotman watercolours are high quality yet economical, delivering trusted performance. Let's, let's open it and have a look, see. I have already opened it and looked, but I'm going to do it again and show you. So it comes with this little thing on the back, which, which, if you see, uh, oh, I thought one of my other, oh yes, these, these had one of those on the back, these are the Prima watercolours, but I took it off before I realised what it was. I now know it's, it's to hold them. Yes, I am a watercolour ignoramus. Okay, so you've got that little thing on the back, and you've got this, it, doesn't it look like a little, oh, hang on. There we go. It looks like a little carry trolley, <laughs> you know, like a suitcase. Yeah, I know, it's so cute. So you pop this off the top. Okay, you pop it off, right, and then you open up your dinky little thing, and I've already done a colour swatch to show you, but I'll show that just now. And you open up that, and you open up that, get in frame, woman. And this is where it gets to be so cute. So you've got your pans, your colours. I should have written down the colours, but they actually are on the sides of the of the little half pans, which I think is probably bog standard for watercolour paints. I hope so anyway. And what I didn't realise, when I first got it, I tried because they always they're obviously all wrapped. I was battling to think, how the heck do I get them out? Because they're quite snugly in there. Okay, obviously you need that if you're traveling, while you're traveling, because otherwise they will, they will, um, what is it, rattle around a bit. So, but what I didn't realize until halfway through trying to struggle to get them out is this lifts up. Do you see? Isn't that cute? So then you can just take your pans, just like that, and have a look at them because this one if they can get the color this one is called yellow okra are you going to be able to see that am i asking too much from my camera come on camera focus focus there we go there we go oh look at my nails let's maybe not focus so closely so yes so i've got all the pans there all the 12 colors and these just slide out whoops a daisy and that just goes down and you clip it back in like that and you can see the swatch let's have a look at the swatch pretty colors hey that's the white one yeah can't see it but it is there and i reckon that as a complete novice i should be able to mix up colors i love that green that green and that yellow and which other one did i like the blue lovely saturated color but it's pretty isn't it I think so. Ooh, and I haven't finished yet. This is where it gets seriously cute. This. Okay, this is a little brush. Okay, comes there and it look, looks a bit manky. Poor thing. If you look. Are we going to focus? Focus, focus. Focus. Oh, come on. There we go. You can see it's looking a bit dishevelled. And it's also really quite thin. So I'm not so sure if I will use that or whether I will actually just take one of my watercolour brushes. But that does come with, which is convenient and cute, but this, this, this is the cutest part of this thing. It's a teeny tiny water bottle. <laughs> so you fill it up, if you can get it open. Can we get it open? Oh my gosh, okay. There we go. Okay, so you fill it up with water and then you carry it with you and then you pour the water into here so that becomes your your water bowl okay let's take that one away for a moment yeah that's your water bowl 
and you are all set. Then you just stick that back on, stick that back in there. That goes in there like so, like so. And you are all set to watercolour on the go. How freaking cute and get in frame, silly woman. How freaking cute is that? So let's do a little bit of, of on, of unanticipated colouring just to show you some of the colours and I, there we go. Let's go with that green one, that green one, that this green one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Very watery. Um, I, yeah, but, okay. Um, yes, well, we always know that Tanya does the most embarrassing things on the camera. Um, this apparently is the proper side of the watercolour paper. We will ignore that, shall we? And just you know, carry on as if that never happened. Stop giggling, Arit. Right, here we go. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Wow, and these colours go a long way, don't they? Shoo! Let's add in something. What should we add? Um, 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 ooh, let's do some of the yellow, because that's nice bright yellow. Okay, let's put it, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, let's put it there, let's show you. Oh, it's still got a bit of green, oh dear, okay. Right, let's see how we do here. Mixing it up a bit. Oh, oh, take that green off there, there we go. Picking it up. Oh, look at that. Look at that, so pretty. And the other trick I have learned about watercolour, which, yes, as I said, complete novice, but if you put some water on there and then you take some colour, let's take the red, you put that in there, oh, look at it spread. Look at it spread, so pretty, oh, so, so pretty. Oh, okay, can we even see what I'm doing here? Yeah, we can slightly shift it up a bit. I have to say, this red is not very red. Not a very deep red. It's more an orange, in my humble opinion. But let's add some more. Add some more of that. And let's add in some of the pinky colour. Let's add in the pink. Pink on the side. Oh, look at it go. What a masterpiece. <laughs> uh, there we go. So, there. Ah, there is, there is some of the colour, as you can see, really quite pretty, really quite pretty, yes. So, that is done. Put that out of the way. Oh, and I made myself a traveller's notebook with watercolour paper inside, so I can take that with on my, on my trips as well, and then I can sit in the bush, and I'm just going to clean that up because I am kind of... Uh, I am I am not what one would call an artiste because I am too freaked out by keeping my stuff clean. <laughs> so there we go. But I think it's really, really, really cute. And you just pop everything back. Whoops, let's put my spongy thing back in there. Pop everything back. That goes there. And that goes there. My little testing thing fits in snugly there. We close up our little suitcase and we pop that back on and we click it into place and voila! I have my little travelling travelling watercolour set for travelling on the go. Ta-da! <laughs> bye bye!